And there's so much water, this is like about to spill out, like. Oh! Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Tony Leone, and for those of you that are new here, I've been working on a series called Blow and Smoke that I highly recommend you watch, especially if you're a fan of cigars and exploring different cultures. It's a real fun time. Okay, maybe I'm a little biased, but I'm writing a script right now that requires me to make clear ice. And when looking into it, I don't wanna buy one of those machines because I don't have the space for it, nor do I think they're worth the money because more importantly, not all of them make clear ice. And then I remember Jeremy Sires putting out a video talking about how to make clear ice at home. So without further ado, I give you the Sires method. All it requires you to do is to pour water into a cooler. Okay, I know he didn't actually create the method, but Credit what credit's due. So this should go without being said, but I highly recommend you clean out your cooler before you make ice with it, because otherwise your ice is gonna look less clear and more like beer backwash, and uh, well, that's not good. And after filling your cooler with water, you just stick it in the freezer and check back in a few days. Two days later. Okay, so as to why this works, from what I understand, it's the way that the water is being frozen itself. Traditionally, when it's being turned into ice in a regular freezer, it's being hit with air on every side. So when the water ultimately freezes, there are some air molecules trapped in the center and on the sides, giving it that cloudy look. And using the cooler method, basically you have this insulation that's trapped any air from getting in other than the top surface. So when you have the water sitting on the bottom, again, only the air is going to hit the top, thus freezing it from the top down. Tony. 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 Now as to why this is important, some will say that the clear ice itself melts slower than regular ice due to the lack of air that is trapped inside the block because science, I don't know. As far as I'm concerned, I really can't tell the difference. I just know it looks awesome. And doing research on this, I was told to use boiling water, hot water, distilled water, filtered water. I just used a regular gallon, but I'm pretty sure that you can use about anything. Just know that whatever water you pour in the cooler could have that same aftertaste when it turns into ice. So. I guess if you're looking for a specific pH level or feel like being bougie, then fill it up with Fiji or Evian, you know? But enough talking, let's go see how it turned out. For this, you're gonna need a cutting board along with a serrated blade and a mallet or hammer. I would do this over the sink because it will get messy. But for the sake of the video, you're welcome. Now just turn over the cooler and the block should slide out with a little force. And would you look at that? If you have gloves, I would wear them because the ice will be slippery to cut. Okay, let's speed this up. And once you've cut your groove in, you can bring on the hammer. This is why you want to sink. Oh my God. Well, and there's so much water, this is like about to spill out. Like. Oh! Looks awesome for the camera though. Yeah. And now you can really see just how clear this ice is. Wow. wow. Look, show that to the camera. That is a heart. Now you don't need to make perfect cubes out of the block. You can, it'll just take longer to be precise. But I personally find these broken shards look a lot cooler coming out of the glass. Disappeared, right? And it also creates less waste because in the end, it's all gonna melt anyway. It looks like an iceberg. And after you're done, you can just place the ice into a Ziploc bag to put back into the freezer. Leave a comment down below if I made you want to try this and just have fun with it guys because it really is easy to make. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.